All right, so first punch. Uh, number one, the jab. The jab is the king of punches. Uh, we're gonna use the jab for a range finder. We're gonna use the jab to make space. Um, martial arts and Sun Tzu have always taught the three rules, which is control the distance and get away and um, always use the least violent means necessary and simplicity is genius. And it doesn't get much more simple than throwing a jab. You're gonna use the jab as the range finder and protect yourself. Again, I'm gonna be in the teaching you from the orthodox stance, uh, which is gonna be left lead. My forearms are parallel, my elbows are in tight. Okay? I'm kind of bent down, I'm down a little bit. My chin is tucked, my shoulder is in line with my lead foot, my rear heel's off the ground, and I'm down a little bit like a spring. We'll talk about movement later, short, long and short rhythms, but that's not important for right now. You're just learning how to punch. The jab is one of the two uh, linear forced linear forces, right? The straight punches, and it's gonna be the one done with the lead arm. And we talked in the other fist about, or other video about making a tight fist just before the moment of impact. So the jab is loose and fast. Um, we're not gonna get into minutia in this series, talking about leading with the knuckle and ro internally rotating the shoulder at the end of that punch to get that effect. But if I do turn my, my jab in, you can see if you line up on me, when I throw my jab, okay, if I just put that fist straight out, I got a lot of open space here on the outside of my shoulder. Whereas if I tuck that shoulder and turn it in a little bit, I've protected my jaw from the outside. I'm gonna leave my thumb out as I punch towards you so you can see where the jab goes. I like to throw the jab so my thumb is slightly below uh, horizontal as it comes out. So the jab comes off, and it's down a little bit. You can throw the jab straight with the thumb up. You can throw the jab on a 45 degree angle. You can throw the jab flat, but twisting in a little bit gives you that little bit of protection, that little bit of internal rotation and snap on the end of the punch. So your thumb's slightly down. You'll see that from the side. So again, with my thumb up, the jab straight forward with the thumb up, 45 degrees. 90 degrees or horizontal, or the best, slightly below the horizontal. And you can see the difference in my shoulders when I throw those jabs and the amount of protection that it gives the side of my head. Okay, so the first jab was a standing fist. See how open that is? Second jab, 45 degrees, it's a little higher. Horizontal, and they rotate it all the way in. You can see how much more space I, I was able to eliminate to hide myself. The jab is driven by uh, all these punches, the four basic punches, the jab, the reverse hook, the uppercut, are done with the action of the pelvis. So the jab is done by driving or lunging my pelvis forward. I push off the rear foot, I step with the front foot, um, slide back. Either way, it's the pelvis that does the punching and the arm just, tra the upper body and the arms transmit the punch forward. So I'm going to use my rear foot to lunge my pelvis forward. I can do this with a little step of the front foot. I can do this without stepping the front foot, just lunging the pelvis forward. We'll get into all the variations later, especially on the bag. My hands, I'm in my position, right? Knuckles right below my cheekbones, body turned, moving forward, elbows parallel, or sorry, forearms parallel. I push the jab out by lunging my pelvis forward, take a slight step if necessary. As my pelvis lunges forward, I extend my arm out in a linear fashion so it comes straight out, got that slight downturn, just like that. I lunge my pelvis forward, I do my jab, I pull it back. Now, <clears throat> uh, on all the punches, you don't have to go fast while you're learning these. Your brain doesn't care at which speed you learn the technique, you just have to do it in the proper uh, motor patterns. You can add speed later. Here, lunge my pelvis forward, let that wave of motion travel from my pelvis to my upper body, throw that punch out, come right back. As fast as it goes out is as fast as it comes back in. Out smooth, back on the same track. Lunge, back, lunge, back. Lunge with a step, back. Lunge with a step, back. Lunge with a step, back. Okay. From the other side, just like that, move my pelvis forward, then the punch. From the inside. The 
that's the basic jab. Just straight out with that lead hand by lunging the pelvis forward. Tight fist, slight internal rotation, make contact, fist comes right back to your face. Right back to your guard position. Just like that. Okay, uh, next video will be with the rear straight, and that's gonna be, there's a few different versions of that, but the jab is the beginning and the end. It's the king of punches. Make sure you practice that a lot. Okay, next video.